My obsession with candles, I don't even remember where it started or how it started. I've just always been obsessed with things that smell good. Something about seeing a flame lit that just, I don't know, it just does something to me. I've always had an entrepreneurial spirit in me. I remember me and my sister one year, we were selling hot dogs and burgers and water balloons one summer. We made some money. I just didn't know that being an entrepreneur was the name for it. But I felt like I always had it in me. When I was in college, I remember just racking up on candles at any store that sold them. It was just a way for me to find my zen. So when I graduated from college, I worked in a high-end retail store. I was like, I want to do something of my own. Why not candles? So doing my research, I realized that the candles that I loved were full of toxins. And I wanted to put out a product that was full of quality ingredients. That means you're getting the best soy wax, the best fragrance oils, the wicks are cotton, the glasses, everything is responsibly sourced. I pride myself on creating a product that is safe to use in your home. I do hope that when people light the candles that it does instantly change their mood, that it does take them away from whatever it is that they're going through. Each scent is inspired by my walk of life, maybe where I've traveled to, my experiences, my past. We're labeling Willow today, which is a crowd favorite. Willow is actually dedicated to my late father who inspired me to become an entrepreneur. That used to be his nickname. This is a limited edition candle. The wax is black. It has vanilla in it. It has different types of nectars. It smells amazing. A perfect way to honor my father. This isn't your typical candle company where you can replicate the scents. Each scent takes you on a different adventure. One candle in particular that I remember where I was at, I was in Jamaica and I remember having a drink on the beach and I was like, if I could create a candle that smelled like this moment, I would. So, Irie is inspired by Jamaica. When you light it, you literally feel like you're on a beach somewhere. My advice to anyone who wants to turn their side hustle into their main hustle is to use whatever main hustle you have to fund your side hustle. This takes money, it takes grit, it takes time, and you have to be all in. I think as far as me inspiring my community, I don't think I realized how much of an impact I had until I started going to pop-ups. Um, I started going to panel discussions and people would come up to me afterwards. Like, you inspired me to start my own business. I make this a point to say that a black woman has helped me in every aspect of my career, so I always want to do the same for them. I've learned that I am stronger than I give myself credit for, more resilient, I'm a problem solver. I learned my purpose. I thought that when I started this candle company, it was a way to create a business, but from the feedback that I get from clients and customers, I'm actually inspiring people to follow their own dreams. Thank you.